What's up everybody? Thanks for checking out this tip from turningpointmusic.net. Today I want to show how to use dynamic transport in Pro Tools to check and see if a loop that you've sectioned out works correctly. This is a great time saving tip that I use all the time. So I have a Pro Tools session open. This is a perfect circle song. I was just sectioning out because I'm going to learn it, but I thought this would be a good good piece of material to use to show this tip, but it's something I use in editing all the time. So let me show you what I mean. I would first find the start. So I'm gonna use tab to transient, option command tab, or just click on that button, make sure that button is on. Tab, tab, tab. Okay, so that's the start. So I'm gonna hit enter twice to make a marker. And then you would use tab to transient or whatever editing function you wanna use to find the end of your loop. I happen to know where it is in this example. So it's there, I'm gonna make another marker, hit enter twice, and then I'm gonna shift click over to the first marker. So now I'm sure this loop works right now, but when I was first creating this, I wasn't. And rather than just hitting play and waiting for the loop to go around and making sure it's a smooth loop, that's really annoying. And it's, and it's especially annoying if you happen to be wrong and then you have to refine the endpoint and then do it again, wait again, listen again. So I can hit control command P to go into dynamic transport mode. And if you see when I do that, my main time scale up top gets double wide or double fat. Now you have a distinct play start marker here and I can move that wherever I want without losing my edit selection and my timeline selection as well for that matter. So now I can just click that over to the end and hit play and listen to it loop around and see if that loop works. And it does, but that's it, that's the tip. Control Command P turns on dynamic transport. If you forget that, it's in your options menu up here, dynamic transport. It's also a right click on the play button. Thanks for checking out this tip.